You got nothing to say to me? Oh, oh. I, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you were here already. I apologize. It won't happen again. I'm glad you made these decisions last time. This is our story. Oh, you're very welcome. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Detroit Become Human Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, are we back to see Amanda? Because I don't particularly want to have that conversation. I don't think she likes us very much. Where is she, anyways? Find Amanda. Oh, she's over there. Oh, I only just noticed she's in the boat. I thought she was on just like a bench or something. But no, she's in the boat. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to have to uh, roll her somewhere. R roll? Row. Yeah, I'm guessing we're going to have to row her somewhere. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Uh... My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. I didn't want to tell her about the Eden Club. You seem... lost, Connie. Lost and perturbed. Do I want to be sincere? Ah, uh, fuck. I thought I knew what I had to do. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. It's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. How the fuck did you know that? Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. No, don't do that. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. I don't like her. She's up to something. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. 
Still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Oh shit, Simon, I uh, almost forgot about that. It's been a few days since the last played this. Employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Is there anything in here? Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to go back for a second and look at this, and then I'll rejoin you, Hank. This is where Simon got shot. Do I really want to examine this? I don't want Marcus and the others to get caught. But we left Simon behind, so they're going to find him either way. Plus, Connor is conflicted about the whole deviant thing, so maybe getting 100% in the investigation will help Connor sympathize or well, at least give us the option to get him to sympathize maybe I don't know oh lieutenant this is special agent Perkins from the FBI lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police what's that my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. Oh, I agree. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. That guy is a fucking prick. I don't like him either. Okay, Lieutenant. Hey, you. FBI guy. I don't like you. You seem very... You seem very stuck up. And you hate androids. I've done nothing to you, you prick. Alright, anyway. What we're doing? Oh yeah, we're looking at stuff. Ooh, what's this? I think over there too, hang on, let's quickly backtrack. I think that's blue blood I see there. Yes it is. Oh no it's not, it's bullets. My bad. Didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We 
stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. I'll interrogate them in a minute. I'm not done here. Is there anything else? No, just this bit, which is play the video. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Connor's conflicted. That's what we want right now. So good. Alright, let's go and talk to, uh, actually wait a minute, that's roof access, we don't want roof access do we? We want to go to the kitchen first, which is here. Alright, I need answers, one of you are going to give it to me. Stop moving. Neither is he, and neither is he. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336 445 581. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Okay, I thought I would get to interview each one of these three individually, asking the same questions to try and suss out which one's defective. But saying that, those two still looking straight ahead, not a single eye movement. However, this one on the left keeps glancing over at me. So, let's make a deal. yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Oh, he's got a red thingy on his... on the left. Of, well, technically, it'll be his right. Not left. Well, anyway, he's got a red circle. You're going to be switched off. 
We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroy! Oh, as much. Oh, shit! Hello! Oh, my God! Maybe I should have left well enough alone. Fucking hell. Oh, shit! Uh... Come on, come on, get this out of me. Simon got away, technically, even though he's not really gotten away because he hasn't moved, but that doesn't mean focusing on the Deviant in the kitchen means that we saved Simon, in a way. I'm cool with that. Very cool with that. Where are we now? Who are we now? Oh, Kara. Find help. Check backyard. Hey, sir. Sir. We need your help. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I think we can trust them. We don't have a choice. Well, Rose seems nice. Not sure about the other guy yet. He seemed a bit shifty. But they've got to be better than the last place, right? Let's go inside. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's 
She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Oh, that was weird. The music went a bit funny there for some reason. Thank you, Adam. Are oh, you alright, sir? You don't seem happy. Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. We need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a interesting phrasing there. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. She's an android. She must be. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. 
Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison. Because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Why don't you go back upstairs, Alice? Where are you going? Well, at least put some trousers on.
Oh, we've got a sneeze coming. One second. So, what are we doing? Look around. Alright. That I can do. Talk to you in a minute, Adam. Oh, never mind. I won't talk to you. <laughs> Shit. The police. It's the police. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. One second, Adam. I... Uh, come on, come on, come on. I knew this was gonna happen. Where are we going? Can't do anything there. Hides that evidence. And I know this room here. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to tell them to go upstairs. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, shit. May I come in? Uh, of course. Evening, young man. Good evening. Don't look in... The... I have a feeling I should have asked... Ah, oh, shit. I didn't even think about Alice and Luther. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Shit. Because I think... In the house? That looks... Oh, my God. There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No. There are no androids here. Ah, oh, man. I should have asked Luther to take Alice upstairs. I'm a fucking idiot. Do not look over to your right. Do not look over to your right. Do not look. Fuck. Shit. Don't move. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Fuck! Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.